If you have a message in your instrument cluster, replace key battery, use the following steps to replace the battery. Start by sliding the lock away from the metal key slot and removing the metal key from the remote. Next, flip the remote key over so the buttons are facing down. Use a small thin flathead screwdriver or a small ruler, red arrow, to release the rear cover lock. Slightly twist the tool until the chrome top moves away from the plastic cover. Note the very small gap in the photo. Lift the plastic cover up and remove it from the remote key. The battery will fall out as you flip the remote key over. Clean the battery contact points with electrical cleaner. Be sure to clean carefully and not wet the remote internals. Replace the battery with a new one the positive side facing out as shown. When installing the cover, insert the tabs on the cover into the back of the remote key first, as indicated by the red arrows. Then press the top in until it snaps into place. Then push the chrome top back down until it's seated. Once the battery is replaced, you may have to program the key. Here are the steps you will need to do. Begin, place the remote key in EIS and turn to position 2. Press and release the lock button on the remote. Press and hold the unlock button on the remote. Press the lock button on your remote five times consecutively, about once per second, while holding the unlock button. Release the two buttons and wait five seconds. Then press the lock button for the fifth time. Press the lock or unlock button once to finish the process. To program a remote key, the key transponder has to be synchronized already. Place the remote key in EIS and turn to position 2. Remove the remote key from the ignition lock. Within 10 seconds of removing, press the close button. Hold and simultaneously press the open button five times, one after the other. Release the push buttons and then press one of the two buttons once. Here are the functions of the key. The blue arrow is the lock button. Pressing one time, global locking. Press and hold one time. At the same time, you get access to the infrared receiver. Convenience closing. The yellow arrow is the unlock. Press one time with selective driver door and fuel filler flap. Press two times with selective it unlocks everything. Pressing one time with global unlocks everything. Pressing and holding one time at the same time access to the infrared receiver convenient opening. Switches unlocking from selective to global or vice versa. Press and hold the lock and unlock button simultaneously and hold for greater than 5 seconds until the battery indicator flashes twice to confirm the switch over. The red arrow is the panic alarm. Pressing the panic button for between a half and a second and inserting the key into the EIS will deactivate the panic alarm. Purple arrow. Remote trunk opening. Not for model 211.2. Remote trunk opening and closing only on model 211 with code 881B remote trunk. Closing or RTC or rear end door remote actuation. Only model 211.2 with code 890 is the automatic rear end door closing. Press button 3 for greater than a half second. The green arrow. The mechanical key can be removed from the remote key by pressing the release button. When the vehicle is locked or unlocked with the mechanical key, the central locking is not activated. The anti-alarm system is not deactivated. Additional functions are lock and unlock the vehicle doors, trunk lid, tailgate. By pressing the buttons lock, unlock, trunk, a two-way radio and infrared signal is transmitted by the remote key. The signal is checked for validity and the vehicle's doors, 
or trunk lid or rear end doors are locked or unlocked. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.